Howdy. Previously we talked about the introduction and we introduced how uh, kinematics is going to work. But now what I want to do is let's start knocking out prog uh, problems and utilizing what we just learned. So for number one it says here that a jet plane lands with a velocity of 100 meters per second when it lands on the runway. It decelerates at a rate of 5 meters per second squared. From the instant it touches the runway what is the minimum time needed before it comes to a stop? And can the plane land on this runway? Or plane <laughs> land on a runway that is 800 meters long? Now, as I mentioned um, previously, I want to just jot everything down. And the three things that I'm always looking for, I'm looking for an X knot, a V knot, and an A. And notice that I have a constant deceleration. And whenever you have a constant acceleration from the previous video, if you remember, we're going to be utilizing these two equations. And these are the two equations that I'm going to set up. Okay. Once you have x naught, v naught, and a, we're going to plug these numbers into here and then really understand the question to see what it's looking for and then just solve for it. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay. Uh, now, since it lands on the runway, we can set our x naught wherever we want. And let's just call it zero to make our lives easy. All right, if here's our plane, I'll do my best, I can't really draw a plane. And it's landing on a runway that's 800 meters long. Let's call this right here, this x naught, we'll just call that to be zero. Okay? Now, it lands with a velocity of 100 meters per second. So v naught is 100. And as for my acceleration, be careful. Notice how it decelerates. Because it decelerates, this is going to be a negative, and decelerates at a rate of 5 meters per second squared. So now that I have that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug all three of those numbers into both of these equations. Remember, your xf, your vf, and your t, those are your variables. x naught, v naught, and a are simply just constants. So, setting up my two equations, of that xf is equal to x naught, which is 0, v naught t, so it's going to be 100 t, and then the 1 half a t squared, so it's going to be minus 5 over 2 t squared. And as for my vf, if you're comfortable with calculus, velocity is just the derivative of position. You can take the derivative of this, or you can just, you know, if you're still uncomfortable with calculus, just plug it into there. And so, the VF is equal to V naught plus AT. Okay, so now that I have these equations set up, let's answer the question. It says, what is the minimum time needed before it stops? So we'll call that a, we'll call this part A, right? What is the minimum time needed before it stops? Well, for part A, what I need is I'm looking for the time that it takes for the velocity to equal zero. And that's what I meant previously by reading and understanding the question. The time is what I'm looking for, and that's when velocity is equal to zero. And so, I can just use this equation right here, right? Plugging a zero into my final velocity, zero, is equal to 100 minus 5t. And then I try so you can do the algebra. The algebra to this is pretty easy. Solve for t. The t is equal to 20 seconds. All right, so it takes 20 seconds for it to come to a stop. Part B, we'll call uh, the second question part B. Part B, can the plane land on a runway that is 800 meters long? Well, let's see how far it travels before it comes to a stop. Well, the final position is what I'm looking for, right? XF is what I'm looking for when the velocity is zero. You know when the velocity is zero? after 20 seconds. We already figured that out in part A. Now, if, if your final position is less than or equal to 800 meters, okay, if it takes less than 800 meters for it to come to a stop, we're good, right? We'll be happy, we're good. But if it takes more than 800 meters to come to a stop, uh, well, <laughs> your uh, runway ain't long enough. Okay. So, let's go ahead and find how long it takes before it comes to a stop. XF is going to be 100 times 20, just plugging 20 into the second equation right here, minus 
5 over 2 times 20 squared. And so, let's, uh, let's see if it makes it. So what we're going to do is we're going to do 100 times 20 minus the 5 over 2 times that 20 squared. And what we get is we get 1,000. It takes 1,000 meters for it to come to a stop. So uh, the answer is, well, no. The plane cannot land on a runway that is 800 meters long. Your runway should be at least, at the very least, a thousand meters. Okay, so here's a good, easy one to start off with. Let's progressively get harder, and that's how it's going to work. I got a few more examples. So join me in the next video, and we'll progressively get harder every time.